Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. You guys probably know that I did go on a little vacation a couple of weeks ago. This was, um, I went to Ohio and didn't take a lot of crafting supplies because, you know, it's a little bit hard to get on the plane with them. So what I did do though is stamp out a bunch of images. Uh, some of these were from this not too shabby shop um, stamp set. This stamp set is called me time which i think is kind of cool because i did take a little bit of me time but i also wanted to do a little bit of coloring and practicing with some um, colored pencils because i don't really do that that much i think these turned out really really well um and what i'm going to do now with what i had stamped and colored while i was in ohio is put together a card for my not too shabby design team project so i'm going to go ahead and cut these guys out i don't have a matching die or anything so i'm just going to fussy cut those out and then i'll start assembling a card So next I am going to use a couple of scraps of cardstock. This is, I'm sorry, pattern paper from my stash. And that's gonna be kind of the background for my little scene here. And I'm just putting that down with some dot liner adhesive. And I'm not actually covering the entire panel with this. I'm gonna try to line it up pretty much straight, but I'm gonna be just basically doing like a, I don't know, somewhat abstract background for my little scene here. Next, I'm going to start adding my little uh, stamped and colored and cut pieces down. And I'm going to pop this up on some foam tape. Always love my little bit of dimension. And I'm starting off with the little rubber tree here because I want it to be a little bit in the background for my couch. So let's go ahead and pop that down. Okay, now I'm going to add some foam again to the back of my couch. Okay, and I have to trim off some of the foam that I put on because I do want it to overlap some and it wasn't able to go over. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper on these. And then I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the back. I'm actually going to go ahead and stamp out a couple of different sentiments from this set. Um, there is, you deserve some me time and relax, refresh, recharge. I'm not 100% sure which one I'm going to use on here, so we're going to see how each of those look. And I am stamping these out using VersaFine Claire in Nocturne Ink. Apparently something happened with my... Um, my recording, I must have bumped it or something, but um, I, I thought I was recording. Anywho, I had added her onto the couch. I put a little bit of foam box behind her head so that everything is going to lay nice and flush. And I think I want to do have my sentiment here and then have a sub sentiment down at the bottom. Okay, that works. Okay, and then I'll add this down to the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit of foam to the bottom of that sentiment so that it'll be flush with that couch. Okay, I am going to add a few of these um, black back sequins from 
This calls for confetti. The color is glazed, and these are just so pretty. And I think that's going to bring a little bit of the blue that I've got for the couch into the rest of the card. And I'm just going to add a few. Oh yes, that is going to look very, very nice. One of the things I like about these confetti bits in this mix is that they have got different sizes. So you're not kind of stuck with just one. But I do like that. That is so pretty. So thank you guys so much. Oh, I forgot. I was going to use my kitty. I have this little kitty that I also colored and I'm going to use him on the inside. On the inside of the card, I took a couple of scraps from those patterned papers and added my little kitty that I had colored up with colored pencils. Add that to the inside. That is just a nice finishing touch. So that is going to finish up this project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. You guys check out this playlist where I'm using some more Not Too Shabby Shop products. And you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget, if I can make it, you can too. Have a great day and I will talk to you next time.